statistically, the number of women lawyers practicing across the country has increased manifold over the last few decades. The question that arises is, why are more women not contesting and winning elections to bar associations or bar councils? The Supreme Court designated 11 women as lawyers, as senior advocates, in one go, signaling the change in the demographic of our successful lawyers. On many occasions, I have spoken about the need for representation of women in the judiciary and as members of the bar. Statistically, the number of women lawyers practicing across the country has increased manifold over the last few decades. There was a time when you would enter a high court or even the Supreme Court and only see a sea of men. Many female advocates recall a time when they were the only lawyers going through security checks for women, while long queues formed the men's security check outside the Supreme Court. This situation is radically altered today with a large number of women not only formally joining the bar, but also setting up a thriving practice. Recently, the Supreme Court designated 11 women as lawyers, as senior advocates, in one go, signaling the change in the demographic of our successful lawyers. The Nagpur Bar is no exception. Of the 3,000 members, more than 500 members are women. As the demographics are changing in the legal profession and more young women are entering the field, this number will only increase. However, even as the number of women lawyers is increasing at an unprecedented pace, this trend is not reflected in the composition of our elected bar associations or even our bar councils. When there are no formal barriers to contesting elections and the number of women lawyers is increasing, the question that arises is, why are more women not contesting and winning elections to bar associations or bar councils? This lack of representation is not unique to the Nagpur Bar Association, but permeates to bar associations and bar councils across the country. A study which was conducted in 2021 revealed that only a meager 2.04% of the elected representatives in the 21 state bar councils are women. Not a single office bearer of the Bar Council of India is a woman. There is only one woman member in the Supreme Court Bar Association Executive Committee. Contesting elections for bar associations and for bar councils requires extensive networking, campaigning, and soliciting of votes, which often leads to the formation and perpetuation of an entrenched old boys club. This environment can act as a significant disincentive for women, discouraging them from participating in these elections, let alone engaging in campaigns and successfully winning them. It is not enough to remove formal barriers to women lawyers contesting elections. It is the responsibility of the existing male office bearers to not only encourage and support women lawyers who stand for election, but also make the environment conducive for them to stand a fair chance. I'm optimistic that the Nagpur Bar Association, with its glorious history of fostering social change, will take proactive measures in this direction. I also urge all the women advocates in the audience to assert their position in the Bar Association, come forward, contest elections, and hold positions of responsibility.